It's times like this that I wish you could talk. Did someone fall down a well? Holy shit, that actually works. <laughs> Let's go check out that well, boy. Holy shit. Wild Wasteland perk actually does work. Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, uh, we were trying to get Rex through hell, <laughs> apparently, because this little Legion assassin group keeps attacking me when I get over that hill. Now I'm going to have Rex wait here for the time being. I have him equipped with stim packs in the meantime. I'm hoping that'll be enough. I honestly doubt it will be, but nonetheless, I have them equipped just in case. Now, what I'm trying to pick up is this. There we go. So, in case we do run into them and he does run in, I could try and take him out as quickly as possible. Now, they should be facing him now. Yep. Okay, come on. Let's Come on. There he goes. Okay. Now they're getting a little closer. Okay, whoop. I, again, you're not letting me fucking aim. Okay. That should take care of this guy if it hits. God damn it. Why is he not able to throw the grenade? For some reason, he's just having difficulty doing that. But I'll... Really? That didn't blow it up. Okay, well then. Alright. I got rid of both of them. That's good at least. Whoa. Grenade went flying past me. Okay. Oh. Alrighty. Cash and chips early. I Wow. Okay. I'm going to be completely honest here. I had tried <laughs> for about 10 minutes re before recording this to try and take them out with Rex on my own. And I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. But now this time it worked. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, like I said, I tried multiple times. I tried with Rex like right next to me to take these guys out and he would just run in really quickly I would have no ability to protect him from them just flat out taking all of their rounds out on him have him follow me now and just he'd get ganged up on by all four of them or three of them I'd usually take out at least one by the time he'd just run in there and just nothing. He, he would die every single time. But now it works out? <laughs> okay, well, I mean, good that he has the fucking the stim packs on him at least. But <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I don't know why I bothered now. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm going to pick up all of this good stuff. Alright, I'm going to have that squirrel on the stick, too. Now that I think about it, I should probably do that. Because I need the food. There we go. That was my food and stuff now. Uh, wow, my H2O is really high. I should probably drink uh, purified water. Jeez, I... <laughs> For ten minutes, I tried taking these guys out with having him right next to me and then he'd run in, die and then I'd have to mop up the rest I can't believe that worked this time because <laughs> every time before it, it didn't oh Jesus I don't, I don't know what to make of that I don't know what to make of that um put these two together there we go and yeah that's actually pretty damn valuable on its own Squirrel on the stick is worn off? Yeah, I figured it must. I figured it would. Uh, what did this guy have? Uh, he had some good stuff, apparently. Um, 
but uh, apparently one of his other guys picked it up and ran with it. Um, take this. Mm, Night Stalker Tail is not really useful, so I won't pick that up. Yeah, I'm good. I still don't know why. <laughs> I should have just made him wait there the entire time. Oh my gods. Oh my gods, that is so dumb. Really, that was the thing I should have done the entire time? Really? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh my gods, that's annoying. Well, I mean, it's done now. And I guess there's the other thing with <laughs> Wild Wasteland Perk that I could do later. <sighs> but first I need to bring him to fucking Jacobstown. At least diagnose what's wrong with him. Why am I having this out? I don't need this out anymore. There we go. <sighs> Good as it stands now. Don't need the big guns. Alright. Well, this is going to be a little bit of a trek. If, I'm, if I remember right, at some point it becomes very green. So uh, watch out for that, huh? If I remember right, anyway. I probably don't. In fact, I'm pretty sure I don't. <laughs> yeah, well. Upward we go, regardless. Jesus. I s <laughs> I'm still baffled how nothing else but having him wait worked. Okay. Well, I mean, I had equipped, uh, I had a, not equipped, but I'd given him, rather, some auto-inject stim packs for when he, you know, gets to 50% health, which he is very likely to do in the middle of that fight. Okay, um, assuming these are big horners. I'm assuming that because they aren't running down to try and shoot or, you know, hit me. Yep, those are big horners, okay. Well, at least we uh, confirmed that much. Okay, um, might as well grab these, because they're right on the side of the road, and they won't immediately trigger them into fucking frenzy. <sighs> oh, I was right. It does go green further up you go. Well, at least the trees do. What the hell was with that? Okay. Alright then, I guess. That's the thing. Yeah, the, it does get greener. Nice. Uh, I have a feeling this isn't a big horner. Yep. There we go. Apocalypse ain't got nothing on me. Alright. It's a giant mantis nymph. That must be... Uh, because Vault 22 is nearby. That must be runoff from there. Huh. Alrighty. Well. <laughs> Continue on. Uh huh. That looks like there'd be something down there, but there's not. Huh. Alrighty then. Wow. <laughs> this is a little more boring than I thought it would be. What are you... Oh. Uh, I didn't even see these guys. <laughs> Oops. Well, I mean, at least you took care of them. That's better than not. Um, they only have the four legs, though, so that's kind of worthless when it comes down to it. That's another big horner. Uh, balls. We're, now you all got me fucking screwed up. I'm supposed to go this way. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> all the directions that fucking threw me around. I had no idea which way was up. Down or south. Oh, great. Now the floor. I'll just let them take care of it at this rate because they're doing a pretty bang-up job already. 
Okay. What does this one have? Ooh, this one has an egg. The eggs are a little more worthwhile. Okay. That was almost instantaneous. Hey, Rex. Hey. Uh. How are you feeling? Mm. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> that brain is still hurting him a little bit. In fact, eventually, boy, eventually I'll be able to help your brain. Should be soon. Hopefully. Just, uh. Just need a way to get to there quickly. Because at this rate, it's going to take forever and a half. Ugh. But at least it's a uh, worthwhile trek. At the very least. Oh, great. Now there's more of them. Um, Time for some get easy. Okay, and there's a whole bunch of them. Um, that was quick. Quicker than I thought it would be. Alright. <laughs> Jesus, that was crazy. These, these, these two are killing them faster than I can get to them. Good gods. Alright, um... Cass, uh, you, you're almost overkill at this point. Mojave is almost buzzing like a cazador now. Must be all the blood legion and NCR spilling over the Colorado. Probably. Um... Yeah, I... Had to uh, make you go back to the, uh... The... Lucky 38. There all right. Go. Guess Vegas it is. Yeah, it's it's not like I want to, believe me, darling. It's just <laughs> it's the only way I got right now. Alright. Because you you're kinda overkill at this point and you're just expending ammo. And I could just be doing things myself or having Rex do it himself. Well, I think I'm here. Hey! It's the big old wooden walls. Yep, I'm here. That's a sign of civilization if ever I saw one. Especially the way they're hastily constructed. What? Um. They're not red pips. But they're also super mutants. Huh. Alrighty. Um. Uh. What are those noises? Um, Welcome weird. to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the Nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And okay. if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. Alrighty, well then, the good thing I'm not NCR. I'm looking for Dr. Henry. Doc's inside the lodge. Alrighty. Forth coming with that information, thank you. Uh, why do some of the super mutants here dislike the NCR? A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans. Goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? Mm -hmm. I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? Well, that's another story. Fair enough. What do you know about the Legion? Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Uh -huh. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. Good thing, then, that I already took care of Kaisar. <laughs> uh, what makes the NCR too ambitious? They expand. Fast. Yeah. If you got land they want, they'll take it. Eventually. Did it out west, they'll do it here. Fair enough. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. That's a good point. Uh, do you have any dealings with New Vegas? Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Probably. It amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. Yeah, it is kind of odd, isn't it? And, uh, if I recall correctly, Marcus here is actually a throwback to Fallout 1 or 2. I just 
<laughs> That's the part where my brain forgets, because it was one of the older games. I remember that much. But I don't remember which one. I want to say a Fallout 1, but I'm probably wrong, and it's actually Fallout 2. Someone in the comments will let me know angrily, I'm sure. <laughs> and uh, anything else you can tell me about Seen the NCR? Grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let's talk about something else. Right. Like, uh, what's wrong with the Nightkin? Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While All they're right. in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys, so their craziness doesn't get worse. Fair Trouble enough. is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. Fair enough, I understand that. Spend enough time, you know, hiding in the darkness, hiding in plain sight for most, and you really wouldn't want to be, you know, thrown out into the open like that. I understand that. All right, any town rules I need to know about? Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. No, not really. Not really at all. Goodbye. See you. Thank you for letting me in as well. All right, let's uh, go talk to uh, Dr. Henry then, who should be inside. Jacobstown. All righty. Get going. Is he right behind me? Yeah. There, there's a sometimes a bug involving uh, Rex where he'll just stop following you. And usually if you load into an area or fast travel or most everything that requires you to move. Another human. One was enough. Um, what Bother are you talking about? Else. I don't want anything to do with you. Um, do you have a problem with humans? Humans are always staring at things. We Nightkin don't like being stared at. Is is uncomfortable. Fair enough. I'm not going to do the second option. I'm not an asshole. Uh, how does that make you different from some humans? It is different. Right now, I'm trying very hard to remain civil. And you're not making it easy with your incessant questions. Good point. Who's the other human you mentioned? Dr. Henry. He's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. Good point. I'ma do that. Finally. Yeah, you, you, you just... You have your fun now. I'm going to talk to... Oh, I didn't realize it would be an... Oh, this one's a ghoul. Oh, that explains why he mentioned only one human. Why does it have a Night Stalker here? Why is the S capitalized on this one? All the ones I've seen previously, the S is not capitalized. Why is it on this one? Eh. Oh, well. Maybe that's a... Maybe that's an oversight. They say those hey. robots on the strip are running around with different faces or something. Don't ask, because I don't know. Yeah, how do you know about anything on the Strip? You're all the way out here. I assume this is about something important. You're interrupting my research. Uh, something's wrong with my cyber dog. I was told to come to you. It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak. Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Aside from her, I know that the fiends and Caesar's legion fight alongside dogs. Hmm. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. Huh. Um. Acquire a new brain from old lady Gibson, or an exceptional brain among Kaisar's legion, or among the fiends. Now, we know of one brain within the fiends already, and in fact, I think I looted it already. Uh, Violetta, who was uh, the dog for Violet. And uh, for Kaiser's Legion, I don't remember that one. But we're going to be going for Old Lady Gibson's dog for that. But um, at least as far as I'm concerned, we're going to be going for that one. Because that one has the most useful perks, <laughs> in my opinion. Anyway, what are you working on? The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. Uh-huh. I've been trying to come up with a cure. 
I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also huh. gotten my hands on a working Stealth Boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. Fair enough. Why is it riskier? The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. Hmm. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Oh. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject. And Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. Well, of course, because he wouldn't want any of his charges to get worse. At least not any of them that are more prone to violence. And that could be literally all of them. <laughs> so, uh, stealth boy use hurt humans. It's possible, but I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Hmm. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nikon. Which explains why they have so many problems with it in general. Uh, what do you need me to do? Wait, why are you helping the Nightkin? Because Marcus asked me to, and because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning. I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. Fair enough. I'd like to help. What do you need me to do? I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Fair enough. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well. But they've come back empty-handed. Hmm. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big harness to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. Fair enough. What makes you think that the Night Stalker mutation isn't natural? I've compared the brain chemistry of a Nightkin to one of the local Night Stalkers we killed. They hmm. both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that Night Stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. That'd be weird. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. So, they're somehow in... involved slightly. Slightly involved with stealth boys, just not directly using them. Or at least that's what you think possibly is going on. Hmm. Alright, uh, talk about something else. I'm gonna go now. Alright, um, he said talk to Lily before we head out, and I assume that's what we're going to have to do. So, I'm going to end the episode here for right now, and we'll do that next episode. Unfortunately, I can't do it this recording session, but later for sure. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat, playing games and making our way to Jacobstown, which is apparently a mutant haven for you.